Hello everyone! The Philippines is a destination that is easy to visit multiple times due to its more than 7,000 islands. The most difficult decision you make as a traveler is figuring out which island to visit first. The scenery in each region of the Philippines ranges from mountains and tropical to metropolitan. You can enjoy a day of walking the historical colonial streets of the capital city of Manila or catch a rare glimpse of tiny Tasia monkeys at a private sanctuary on the island of Bohol. The steep, plush mountains provide unforgettable hiking experiences. Since you are surrounded by specific ocean, it's not surprising the Philippines has some of the best beaches in Asia and the scuba diving opportunities are outstanding. The Philippines is part of Southeast Asia and yet apart from it, it is the only Southeast Asian country with no land links to neighboring countries. Number 10. Baguio Baguio is a city tucked away in a mountainous region on Luzon Island. Though it is a city Baguio is intimate and reminiscent of a cottage-type environment. Baguio is called the city of pines for the rich pine forests and cooler temperatures that surround it. You can explore one of the many hiking and biking trails or take in a round of golf at one of the resorts in the area. Baguio is unique to other destinations in the Philippines because the city is surrounded by trees and not water. Number 9. Coron Island One of the top driving destinations in the world, Coron Island is a tropical paradise with electric blue and green water that almost seems unreal. The mountainous island sits on the tip of the Palawan Island region, the westernmost section of the islands in the Philippines. The island is popular for driving because of the numerous wrecks here. Many of the preserved shipwrecks are located in depths ranging from shallow water at just 3 meters to deep water at 42 meters. Some of the wrecks require more than one dive to explore due to their size, but you can easily spend a week diving in this area. Number 8. Sagada one of the most unique experiences you can have in the Philippines is the northern tribal region in Sagada. Nestled in the rough and remote Cordillera Mountains are tribes that embrace the occasional visitor. This area is a paradise for the advanced outdoor enthusiasts. The steep mountains and high elevation enhance the thrill and skill level required for outdoor adventure. One of the best places to visit in this region of the Philippines is the hanging coffins that hide deep in the mountains. It is best to connect with a local guide to take you to this incredible site because this is not a tourist area, but rather an authentic tribal region hiding an experience worthy of bragging rights. Number 7. Davao City For a city scene outside of Manila, head to Davao City which has a large metropolitan area. Davao City is the main city in the southern Philippine region of Mindanao. Despite its small and large population, Davao City features many natural elements, including the Eden National Park, Philippine Eagle Center, and the Davao Bay Walk near the sea. One of the best places to visit in Davao City is Mount Apo, the highest mountain in the Philippines. The Bao City is a prime location for shopping as there are several large malls. For a peek into the Bao City history and culture, the tiny Davao Museum of History and Ethnography is worth a visit. Number 6. Manila The Philippines capital of Manila on the island of Luzon is a bustling city with non-stop activity. Hop on board one of the colorful jeepneys, the main form of public transportation, to get a taste of local life while you visit the city's top attractions. Usually overpacked with locals, 
the bumpy ride through the streets on the iconic and Kitsuki Jeep or bus hybrid vehicles will be one of the highlights of your visit. Plan stops to the main park in the city and the historical San Augustine Church that was built in the 16th century. Buy local fruits and handmade gifts at the public market at Kuyapo Church where you are likely to see several thousand people show up on Fridays for worship. Number 5. Vigan The historical city of Vigan in the northern Philippines is one of the most charming towns to visit in the Luzon region. Its culture is a fusion of Chinese and Spanish influences originating from the settlers to the area. Take a ride in a horse-drawn caliza through the streets and admire the colonial architecture courtesy of the Spanish who colonized the area in the 18th century. The best view of the area is from the Bantet Bell Tower, which is also a noted landmark in the area. The Cali Crisol Loco Historic District is a walkable district where you will encounter many local craftsmen and see historical architecture. A visit to St. Paul Metropolitan Cathedral is breathtaking and a perfect spot to sit and people watch as you take in the local culture. Number 4. Banao The rice terries of Banao are one of the most striking things to see in the Philippines. Your most impressive view of the terries is at sunrise, when clouds and fog lift up the mountain to reveal the intricate landscape of the terries. The Batad rice terraces and the Bangan rice terraces are protected UNESCO World Heritage Sites. For a deeper taste of this region, Take a stroll through the Banao ethnic village or the Haiwang village to mingle with indigenous people who farm the rice terraces. Number 3. Cebu The island of Cebu in the central Visayas region is considered the port to some of the best diving and snorkeling in the Philippines. If you are an underwater enthusiast, Cebu is one of your best options for excursions that get you up close to whale sharks, coral reefs, and sea turtles. Some of the most spectacular scenery from the water near Cebu are the sea caves that attract photographers and outdoor enthusiasts looking for unique diving and snorkeling sites. The Sutherland National Park, located approximately an hour from Cebu City, is a breathtaking park to explore and hike. Number 2. Bohol The island of Bohol in the Philippines' central Visayas region runs at a slower pace and its destination that showcases the country's natural beauty. One of the most unique natural wonders on the island is the Chocolate Hills in Carmen. This UNESCO protected site is a collection of 200 geological formations that turn brown in the dry season, resembling a landscape of chocolate candy kisses. Bohol is home to a family owned sanctuary for the tiny Tarsia primate. Known for its large, engaging eyes, for a small fee, you can take an intimate walk through the ground and stand inches away from the small nocturnal manor. Number 1. Boracay There is a reason that Boracay Island is considered the beach capital of the Philippines because there are more than 12 beaches. This tiny island in the West Visayas region is ideal for beach goers who are after simple relaxation in the sun or water activities. White Beach on the west side of the island is one of the best beaches in the Philippines. Puka Shell Beach is on the tip of the island and is a favorite spot for shell collectors. Kagban Beach is a quiet spot with nearby caves that are rumored to still contain treasure chests. This island is known for its many resorts, 
so finding a place to stay is easy. For a panoramic view of the island, take a day trip to Mount Luho, its highest point. What? <laughs>